Cool. Hi, my name's Kevin Dom with Save the Oceans and Oil Spill Response Team. What I want to show you today, this is our new boaters kit that we developed to help, to help people reduce pollution on boats by changing their toxic cleaners to a better product that saves them money and actually clean up all the pollution in their bilge. So let me show you how the cleaner works first. This is Stormforce, twice in Pacific Yachting by the way, this was rated the number one cleaner. What I've done with it, because we don't have a boat handy here, but I want to show you a really nasty cleaning situation. Come up and have a look at these East Cross here. I just dilute it into the spray bottle. Oops, it might help if I turn the spray bottle on. I'm just going to soak this down here. Now normally when I use this, by the way, you always let it dwell for a certain amount of time. I just keep your camera on there and I'm going to get a bit of water with the sponge in the kit. And have a look at this. Oh, now I'm covering it. <laughs> but you can see it just wipes right off. Isn't that amazing or what? So that's an, an industrial strength cleaner, but it's eco-certified, so you can clean up without the toxic side effects and stop creating water pollution. But the second part of the kit, if you come and have a look at this, which is really cool, we're going to make in a little oil spill. So come on down and look at my bucket here. When we're dealing with water pollution, everybody knows about bilge oil pollution. Those little drips and drops are at least 10 times the amount of the big oil spills. So I'm going to pour some two-stroke oil in there. Just let it float around, and I'm going to show you this neat product. This is a super absorbent polymer. And this is what we need in the big oil spills, by the way. The reason is, it's an absorbent, AB. It, that means it grabs the oil on the inside. Where what people currently use are adsorbents, AD. An adsorbent only coats on the outside, and if you put pressure, you lose all your oil. So watch how this works. I'm just gonna mix it around in here. And you can see, it just starts grabbing onto the oil. Now this is a synthetic which is about as difficult as you're going to get for, for bilge cleanup. Normally you're dealing with diesel and so on. But if you'll notice here on the side, it's soaking right through the material. This actually will turn in your bilge into a giant um, chunk of rubber, basically. So we'll just mix it around in there a bit more. Pick up the oil. It's interesting, it actually comes off on your hands too when you wipe it onto the material. It actually soaks in. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Absolutely. Have a look at the clear water coming at the bottom. So this is hydrophobic and it's oleophilic. It only grabs the oil. So let me mix that in there a bit more. We'll just pressure it in. And again, synthetic, this is about as hard as it gets. And the reason we're using it, it kind of uh, gives you a similarity to... Um, Things like Gilbert and so on, the, um, the, uh, the, the major oils that can come off of the pipeline and so on. Basically, that's how it works. You just leave that in, it catches all your oil. Now, the cool part about this absorbent material is this can be put into roads and turned into asphalt and actually rubberizes the roads. But it can be also shipped to the big fuel kilns, and we can take this and it kicks their BTU rates up so they get a cleaner burn. So, we've, again, we've ended the waste stream. And the beauty of it, when you buy it in a kit through Oil Spill Response Team, a percentage gets donated to charity. Thanks very much.